everybody and welcome back to Enigmatica 6 Expert Mode. And in today's episode, we go on a bit more of an adventure, go on exploring, make ourselves a backpack and we dive a little bit into Tetra to see what kind of tools we can make and find a lot of goodies. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to be continuing where we left off last episode, doing a bit more exploration, because there's still a lot of stuff we need to do before we can actually start settling down and start working on some machines. Don't you dare enter my house. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? Yeah, this guy actually has terrible trades. He just showed up before I started recording. Uh, so he's got pumpkin seeds, star coral block. I'm sure we can find that in any ocean, really. Actually, yeah, because wasn't there like a warm ocean down over here? Yeah, so there's been like coral out here somewhere. Um. Okay, you know what? I'm going to kill him because he's just going to annoy me. And I have to take care of his llamas. And I'll get to what I've done outside now in a second, but I think it actually looks quite nice. It kind of reminds me of what I'd done in Valhalsia when I decorated the area with the paths and all the trees. I really do like it. But yeah, so I've got myself path down and planted a ton of trees to decorate the area. And I also did a bit of mining. Not too much. Like, I did a little bit. And I did manage to find myself a few diamonds, so I made myself some diamond chests so I can actually, like, access uh, a lot more stuff in this crafting table. And this is all the ores I found. It's not much, but I have two waystones set up over here that go down to different Y levels. At first, I did start with this little hut up here with a path leading to it. So it's this tiny little hut with a trap door and a staircase that goes all the way down to, like, Y level 12. And if you come over here, I have two waystones, one set at Y level 36 and one at Y level 12. Now, it doesn't cost any XP to teleport, but it does cost XP if you were to teleport, like, across the river. Like, I had a waystone down over there where I found it, like, naturally near that mineral tree. And when I was teleporting back and forth, it cost one experience level. So I don't know how much it's going to cost now if I just go cross-dimensionally. I'm assuming it's going to be like tree experience or like maybe five or maybe even a lot more. It could be 10 to go across them anciently, but we won't know until we actually go to like the nether. So other things we're going to do today is we're going to make ourselves a backpack because of course my inventory is not going to be able to be, well, not able to carry everything we're going to be able to find. And second, we're going to make ourselves a set of Tetra tools. Now, I, right now, I'm using Osmium. Uh, just before I started recording, I was mining up a ton of sand, clay, and gravel in the ocean that's just over here. Uh, I don't know if I can actually show you the holes I was digging. No, you can't see them. But yeah, my pickaxe broke over here, and, well, I gathered a ton of sand, and actually, I dug up the nether rack from that nether portal. So we might be able to use this for some stuff. Maybe, like, the nether brick might be useful? Uh, we'll see. We might be able to decorate the area. The one thing I really need right now is blackstone, and I'll get to that in a second. But I have a crafting table down here because we're going to start off with Tetra tools. So Tetra is, well, I'm not that fami familiar with it. I have watched a couple tutorials on it, so I have the base idea on how to use it. So if I just grab myself some cobblestone, go in here, and actually I think I need to make myself a wooden hammer first. So that makes a wooden hammer. And, what, did I not get the, the quest for it? Huh? Oh, I had to exit the crafting table to get it. Okay. Or maybe it was just lagging. But yeah, I actually also then went through here and activated all of the, the quests that just require, like, check marks. So I've got a lot, myself, like, a lot of quests to claim here. And if we do it, we got ourselves Splash Potion, Night Vision, Mortar and Pestle, Seed, Scaffolding, Rainbow Runes. Ooh, I think we can add that to a tool and it'll have that rainbow effect. A wooden hammer, a wrench from Integrated Dynamics, a wrench from Create, a trowel, which is really nice. They're really good for building, say, if you have about three different blocks in your hotbar and you're trying to make like, a randomized texture on the ground. That's really good for doing that. It'll randomly select blocks out of your hotbar and put them down. Fair shears, googly eyes, a good bit of XP, empty to schematic. I don't know what this is. Pet bandage. 
Eye of Enders, Builder's Tea, a Beepedia, and Empty Bee Jars. I am definitely going to be gathering some bees while we're out now today. Hamburger for good food, gunpowder, stone cutter, leather, and a bucket. Not bad. Uh, let's just chuck all this stuff in here. So, we, after completing that quest, we managed to get ourselves a hollow sphere. Now, there's one, actually, one quick thing I want to make now. I completely forgot about it. Is I need two iron nuggets, and I'm going to make myself a rack. Uh, this is from Tetra, and what it pretty much allows me to do is hang my tools on this thing. And by hanging my tools, actually, I need to activate this thing into a workbench now. Oh, right. Does it not work with the more crafting tables mod? So I have to convert it to an oak crafting table first. And oh, yeah, meet Blob. I found him while I was down mining in some water. So he's just going to sit there on our item frame for ages. There we go. Now we have our Mark II workbench from Tetra. So in here, we can actually add our hammer and change all the stats of it. As you can see, currently it's a tier one. And it's got a hammer efficiency of 1.67. Does that mean you can hammer like three times? This thing doesn't do a tree by tree, does it? I don't know why I'm doing it on my floor. No, it doesn't. Okay. But it does have durability. So what? let's go ahead and grab ourselves some cobblestone and uh, more sticks. And I think the best binding what I saw was rabbit hide. But that could be different in here. And also the holosphere is kind of like a guide almost. You can go in here and like view different components. So like maybe a pickaxe head and it'll view all the components or all the materials you can make a pickaxe head out of. So like you got all the different types of woods, you got all the different types of stones, metals, gemstones. Ideally, you kind of want to avoid gemstones. And I'll show you that now in a second if we go to materials. So in here you can view everything. So like limestone has a durability of 100. Shiverstone has a durability of 250. But then you also got different densities and hardness and magic capacities. And the higher the magic capacity, the higher tier enchantments you're going to get. But apparently, I think I read if you go too high on the enchants, something dangerous might happen. I think that was in the quest book. It said that. But looking in here, it seems the only material we can kind of work with at the moment is iron. I would love to use Osmium, but as you can see, this requires a tier 4 hammer. Where Iron only needs a tier 2. And I believe a tier 4 is either Blackstone or Obsidian. And I believe it's Blackstone. So this is where we need to upgrade our hammer. So as you can see, it's tier 1. And we go to a wooden hammer head, change out the material. And it will use the hammer that's hanging on the rack right above us. And now if we do the same here, no, that's an azed head, a wooden hammer to a stone hammer. Now we've got a tier two hammer and we can replace the one on there with the wooden uh, wooden hammer to the stone hammer. And then upgrade this guy to stone now as well. Because you always have to have one other tool of a higher durability or not durability tier. So technically the next tier I can go to then for the hammer is iron. So if I go in here. Go to Hammerhead, change it to Iron. As you can see, it needs a Tier 2. So Stone, Hammerhead, Craft. Now we've got ourselves a Tier 3 Hammer. But its integrity is maxed out. And integrity is the amount of slots that are available on it. Similar to like in Tinkers, we can only have a certain amount of like fortune or sharpness on a sword. Similar here. You need to increase the integrity. But over time, by actually using a tool... It will actually hone. And actually, if I go into my holosphere here, you can go down to like your iron here and it's got a honing. Uh, will I be able to see it in here? Uh, maybe not. Uh, but if we actually go to gemstones over here, if you click on a diamond, you can see it's arrested. Major module crafted from this material will have the arrested modifier. This module is crafted from materials that will not settle over time. So it's not actually honing my mistake. It's actually called settling. So for instance, now let's make ourselves a pickaxe. And I believe if we just make ourselves a quick stone pickaxe and then upgrade it to iron from here. So go in here and change stone pick to say, a, where's the pickaxe at? There it is, iron. There we go. Now, if we hold shift on it, we see hone. And hone is to like the level. You can level up these tools and then later on, 
they can add extra modifiers to the tool. So like sometimes you might be able to get efficiency. Actually, here's the hone right here. So you see pro progress zero out of three fifty. So if I just go down and start strip mining and breaking a ton of stuff with this pickaxe, it will up level up and then I might be able to add like an extra bit of efficiency onto it. But you can see your integrity is maxed out. So that means I cannot upgrade this tool any further. Now I could get myself a piece of leather here and I think a leather works as binding. So say bind leather, you need a tier two type of cutting tool. So most swords work at a cutting tool. So that means I need to make myself a knife. Now I have this iron knife here, but that's not the knife it's looking for. Do I have an iron sword in here? I know I made one, but maybe it broke. Um, Maybe I should have an iron sword here somewhere. Maybe I didn't make one. Maybe I went straight into making this osmium one. But anyway, if we just look up iron sword here and then put it in here and change the blade to a, let's say, short blade. Put the iron in and craft. Now it's a cutting tool and we can hang it on the rack here. And now if we put the pickaxe back in, binding, binding slot, tier two craft. And you can see the integrity went from four to seven. That means now we can upgrade this guy any, all, a lot further. But of course, we're going to need a higher tier hammer. So that will require us to go to the nether. So until we go to the nether and find some blackstone, iron seems to be the highest tier tools we can make at the moment. And because of that, then we'll be able to stick with this now all the way towards to the end of the series. Hopefully, I don't think there's any other kind of tool we kind of would want. And actually, I'm going to change this pick, iron pick head to an adz head, because I believe this one craft an adz head from a given material. The adz head can be used for digging and chopping wood. So it'll pretty much turn it into a mattock. So iron pick mattock, meaning now it can break wood really quickly. Well, it's not that fast because there's only iron, but I can also break stone. And if you come out here, we can also dig up some dirt re relatively quickly as well. So that's pretty much the basis of Tetra that I know of. Now, there's probably a lot more that can be done with this mod, but that's as far as I understand. And until we get a higher tier hammer, we can't really go any further. So I'm just going to make myself a stone sword and I'm going to upgrade it in here now to iron. So let's get ourselves a basic blade, change it to iron, craft. Now it's an iron sword and you can have different guards. So I'm going to change the guard now to a, this is just a makeshift. Let's change it to a wide guard and do the same over here. This is a flamey hilt, decorative stone pommel. Change this to a... Oh, maybe it's something else. But you can see it has... Did, any, did anything actually change with this? I don't actually know. Let me just change the pommel to grip loop iron. And just, there we go. Okay, so something changed. It's got a blue arrow. I don't know what that means. But it's also got, I guess, armor? Apparently I get an extra piece of armor by wielding this guy. Okay, that's weird, but at least now we've got ourselves a set of tools that will upgrade over time, which is kind of what I was after. Okay, now let's get to work on making ourselves a backpack. It is nighttime, so is now a good time to go out? Probably not, but if I just grab some leather and this knife here, because I need to cut this leather up into strips. There we go. I only need four, but you only get three per leather. So over here, the backpack, you need four leather strips, or stripes, strips, I'm going to call it, say strips. Uh, and you need canvas and a basket. A basket requires scented sticks, which you get from combining sticks and honeycomb. And did I get honeycomb as a reward? I thought I saw that. Maybe not. Maybe it's something else in here at bees. Because uh, I know I saw a reward of some honeycomb. Unless I am thinking of something else. Okay, now I've got a different sword here. See, I just have to get an, a spirited, spirit lance that has does 10 damage. It's got magic edge. And I've also now got this Masumane, Masumane Moon Sword, Neptune Blade, Bronze Hilt, Leather Binding, Neptune Counterweight. It's already got 41 hone and it does 10 damage. So it's way better than my current sword. 
So that means going at mobs, I should be able to like two shot them if I crit them. You know what? Let's test that. Let's go find us a creeper. Actually, this zombie here would be perfect. Come here, zombie. We should be able to technically two shot you. Oh yeah. And we can already one shot a spider. I say one more damage, or if we had sharpness on this guy, we would be able to one shot spiders and two shots every other mob, except for Enderman, because they have a lot more health. But that's pretty nice now that we have this. Damn, I was not expecting that. Right, I guess I didn't get honeycomb, because I thought I did get honeycomb from a source of bees as a reward. Um, apparently not. Oh, actually, I got a ton of rewards here for just doing this. Cool. Um, yeah, okay. So, nothing. Okay, there's a lot more quests in here to select. Okay, that's, that's way too many quests to be claiming right now. How much levels do we get from this? Ah, uh, not many. Okay, these zombies need to go. There's like a mini horde out here. You're really upset I killed one of your friends. Of course you are. You're zombies. Maybe I should sleep, but I kind of want to hold off on sleeping. Because I want to be able to get some... Bruh. There's a... <laughs> of course there's a baby zombie and a chicken on its way. Whatever. I need a campfire because I need to go now harvest some of the comb from the nearby beehives. So campfire. I'm going to need myself my pair of shears. There it is. And let's go out here and harvest up the honeycomb from this beehive. Smoked true, harvest, and I'll leave the thing under it because why not? There we go. And if we come back inside, we should be able to make ourselves our scented sticks now. Hang on, are you still chasing me? Where are you? You're in my house! Oh my god, things just never change. Anyway, I think I actually need a lot more honeycomb than that because... For canvas, I need beeswax, which comes from centrifuging up stuff. So I need to actually make myself a manual centrifuge. Means I need some iron out of this chest here. So I need two iron trap doors. And centrifuge then requires a lever and a barrel. And I have no wood. Okay, it's not that bad. Plenty of wood. So barrel, manual centrifuge, done. And I should be able to stick this here. Oh, no, nah, that's not the way I want it. Will it go like this? There we go. And I need some glass bottles. Luckily enough, I did smelt up a ton of glass because I am going to make bee jars now. Stick this in here. Stick the honey or the honeycomb, yeah, in here. And shift right click on this guy to make it centrifuge, pretty much. And of course, we only had three. So six beeswax. Will that be enough? Because I also need now this straw. You can get straw by cutting up like different plants in a cutting board or I can go outside and use a knife on pretty much at all any type of grass and actually I need some food give me this hamburger for now and I need to go and cut up some grass there's plenty of grass over here so just vein mine all this up and there's our straw collect all of that come back over to our house and in here then, using the straw, I should be able to turn it into canvas. There we go. Six pieces of canvas. Now we can make ourselves our scented sticks. Oh, wait, no, we can't. I need another campfire. Uh, I guess I didn't grab enough coal. Another campfire. Was there another beehive nearby? I believe there was. Give me a pair of shears again. Where did my shears go? There they are. Uh, let me go find another uh, beehive quickly. Probably shouldn't be doing this at night time, but I believe there's a beehive somewhere over here. Here it is. Does this have honey in it? Yes, it does. Okay, I, I thought this was a apri for a second. So smoke it. And... You took tree shots? Weird. Anyway, back home. Oh, I'd love to kill that enderman in case he drops an ender pearl. But I don't want to deal with it. Oh my god, how long is it going to be nighttime for? I feel like it's been nighttime forever. So now we should be able to make ourselves our scented sticks. Just need one set of them. Come in here, basket. Need one basket. And all we need now is one more canvas. Oh, we're low on straw. Do I still have my knife? 
Yes, okay, I need to go get a bit more straw. Okay, canvas done, backpack done. Wow. We're already like 20 minutes into the video and we have only making the backpack now. Thank God I said we're making these videos a lot longer. So now I can take this off, put my backpack in here and press B to open it. Unfortunately, I would love to have the uh, auto feed module, but uh, we'll get to that soon. Right. And also, yeah, I didn't mention about my chainmail armor. I can only make chainmail armor as, as of right now. If I wanted to make, say, iron armor, well, I can't right now. I need to get into create. So iron chest plate requires sequenced assemblies. And I need to set iron chain mail, or just chain mail chest plates on a th this thing here and hammer it eight times or with eight iron ingots and just replete this eight times to make myself an iron chest plate, which is crazy. So eventually we will be able to automate this, but like right now we can't make armor. So I'm kind of relying on chain mail, which is the only armor we can kind of craft besides leather. And le of course, leather is like really bad armor. So, yeah, I can only make a uh, chain mail, but eventually we will get into better armor. And I'm hoping now, by going off and exploring, we're going to go up north now and fight this temple and go explore this airship. And actually, another uh, woodland mansion kind of got uncovered when I was over here at the ocean. But we're nowhere near ready to fight that. And there's another village right here, so we have time we might go to that village. But our main goal today is just to go over to this airship and this building and see what's going on. And then, yeah, we might even look into planning out what we're going to do next. And I believe we start might start getting into a little bit of creating thermal series now next episode. Let's eat this hamburger and find some sort of food because, of course, I have no food at all. I have a farm planted back here. And, oh, yeah, this I love. Look at the way that the fence just connects at the corner. I love it. You can have, like, rounded farms. It's beautiful. And realistically, the only food I have right now is carrots. Um, so maybe when I get to that village, I might find a stack of hay bales. But as of right now, these are the only foods I have. So I'm just going to take that. And that should be more than enough food, to be honest. Leave those in here. And I'm going to grab myself a waystone just so we can teleport home in case. And a stack of torches. So I guess that's it. Let's get going and go check out these buildings up north. Right, we're coming up on the airship over here now, but I think I just saw an enchantment table in the window of this building right here, right there. Because if there's an enchantment table, I want it. Because I would love to start enchanting already. Did I see an enchantment table? No, it was just a red flower with the bookshelves. Okay, well, we're not ready to fight this place yet, so I guess that is not going to happen. Right. Let's head over to this airship and see what it's all about. And, oh, there's basalt over here. Unfortunately, there's no blackstone, though, is there? What is this? Why is there just random basalt here? Uh, I feel like I should take it. Yeah, 30 of it. Oh, imagine there was blackstone down here. Is that quartz? It is. Oh, I can't mine it. Wait, I can't mine it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that seagull just scared the life out of me. He just stole me carrots! Ah, oh, he just ate my carrots. Oh my god, he just scared the life out of me. I can't believe he just ate me carrots. Are you serious? Get the dick back here! I gotta have a bunch of them, but Jesus Christ, okay, seagulls steal food off you! Are you kidding me? Oh, there's the ladder. Oh my god, is th what is this place? Why is there just random, like, basalt here? And I can't mine stuff. Did I mess up my pickaxe and now I can't mine stuff? This is still iron, but I can't mine, like, anything that requires an iron level? That's kind of weird. Seems by holding shift that allows me to go up higher. Now, I'm not seeing anything appear on the map, which is making me think this is just an airship and there's no mobs on it. We're about to find out. Oh, no, I hear skeletons. They're not down in this level. There's a skeleton in here. There's some redstone. 
It must be upstairs. Well, they're not here. But this is all quartz. I don't see the skeletons. Where are they? This is kind of where I need the torches now. It's kind of dark in here. Are there skeletons? Or is it just... Or maybe they're inside the balloon. Maybe they're not here. Oh, no. They are here. Can I break this? Yes, I can. You're only holding a flint and steel. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. They're going to start setting me on fire with that flint and steel. Magma cubes? Is this all the spawners? Nope, there's more spawners back here. Okay, I've lit you up. I'm gone. Whoa, what the hell? What attacked me? I need to eat. This is bad. How long is this blindness on for? Another seven seconds. I don't like this. Maybe I should get out a better type of food. Maybe I should eat this vegetable stuff for the time being. Um... Looks like there's a more of an upstairs. Okay, so when they die, they seem to throw some sort of, like, potion at me of blindness. Oh, there's a tripwire there. Do you see that? What does this activate? Oh, I bet you it activates that. Or not. What did that do? Done something. There's a chest right there. They have no knockback, which is really annoying. Yeah, I thought this would be like a, just quick in, check it out, and then... Oh, wow. Okay, there's a lot of them there. Oh, they can't move. Oh, you can. Just move. Oh, okay. So if I back away before they... um, Pretty much... Throw or drop the potion after they die... I don't get affected by it. I don't know what that redstone circuit is. It activated something. It was meant to activate this, but it didn't. Oh, there's a lot of them there now with the magma cubes and fire. Gotta stay back. Whew, okay. Is this level kind of cleared out now? It looks like it. Can I crawl under here? Oh, yeah. I knew to be secret chest back here. Ooh, some diamonds. Okay. Nature's Mend Iron Leggings. That's better than the chainmail I'm wearing. Some books, some sheets, some schematics, and a stop worm. Maps and iron and a bucket. I'll take all of that. Got a lot of bones out of this, which is nice. I needed bones because... I wanted to add some floral fertilizer to my area to decorate it a bit better, but I guess not. Oh, I see. That redstone was meant to activate the observers so that they rapid fire. Okay, I see. Uh, but that didn't really work out, did it? I'm going to take all the redstone because it will be handy. Oh, of course, I broke the torch first. Oop, oh, uh, I forgot to back up. Uh, take the redstone block. Take the piston. How difficult are pistons to make? Oh, yeah, definitely take the piston then. Wow, there's a lot of redstone down in here. Okay. What's in these chests here? A ton of redstone. Okay. What's in here? Ooh. Ender Disruption Tree and Soulbound Iron Sword. That Ender Disruption Soulbound is really good. Efficiency maximum of eight. Wow. That's going to be a huge efficiency on, that, on these picks. Um, is there anything else around here? There doesn't seem to be anything there. Let's break this. There is a staircase here. That has nothing? What's in you? Nothing. A random piston? Oh, wow. Okay, we got some quartz in that one. What's over here? It looks like there's something up here. Oh, wait, no, we were just up there. Okay, never mind. More redstone here. I'm going to break it all. Hopefully I don't trigger some sort of, like, TNT in this place and it blows the airship up. Because that'll be bad. Oh, another chest. Damn, we're getting a lot of redstone. I might need to teleport home and dump all this stuff off. I don't have the inventory space for all of this. What's up here? 
Were we just up here? It looks like it. That chest is open, so. Oh, wait, no, we're going the wrong way. Downstairs and back through here. Note blocks and another dispenser. Take the piston. No, I'll take the note blocks too. Why not? Might be used for something. I don't know, this is a lot of like. Can I take this coal? Yes, I can. Alright, I'm gonna break the airship and rob all the quartz off it. And let's leave it. Let's head to that tower over there. Or actually, should we head to the village now? Because I want to activate the waystone that's at the top. If we can get to the village and activate the waystone, we'll be able to teleport home and dump our inventory. Yeah, because it doesn't look like there's much else up here. Yeah. Right, let's head to that village. I can just jump off and float over. Huh, I'm just climbing the edge of the mountain here to get up to the top. And I got a achievement. Great view from up here. And there is emerald ore, but I can't mine it. I feel like I'm after messing up my pickaxe now since I can't mine any regular ores like I normally could have. So I'm definitely going to have to figure something else about this or look up, maybe change the material to something else. Or maybe add a diamond into the socket. Because I know you can add like socket gems and they, I think, increase like components of it. But I don't know like what they exactly do. Luckily enough, I think we should be able to take out these guys relatively easily. And I do have some sort of like big knockback that I should be able to like attack them with. I'm just going to activate it and teleport home because, of course, I don't want to die. Right, uh, let's dump off everything we have here. We have a lot of stuff. Keep the jars and open this thing here and take everything out of this guy too. Okay. Wow, we have a lot of stuff now. A lot of redstone, which is nice. And give me back the waystone. Let's just eat. Uh, I feel like I should sleep because it is nighttime. You know what? I'm going to sleep because I can just AFK and wait for the phantoms to spawn. There we go. Wow, our pickaxe is really low. Should I repair it? Probably should. Because you can put this in here and hit repair and throw the material in and boom. Pickaxe repaired. Yeah, I feel like I should add something else. Maybe increase in the handle. Let's upgrade the handle to iron and see does it actually change its mining level now. Uh, I can't tell, but we'll soon find out once we go to mine something that requires an iron level pickaxe. So they have thorns, which isn't that good, but they also don't seem to be doing that much damage. Only you up there, but as long as you stay up there, you'll be fine. Is this a villager house? Yes, it is, and there is a chest in there, so let's grab that. Ooh, emeralds, definitely want them. And we got ourselves some beetroot, corn, and carrot seeds, raspberries, and tomato seeds. Oh, we even got ourselves an onion. Can I turn in some seeds? No. Okay. Let's go over down to this guy here. So what is this building? Not seeing anything just by zooming in on it. Um, But there is some chests on it, so that's what I'm looking at. Oh, okay. So this is where all the skeletons are spawning from. Is it a good idea to go into it then? Because I feel like this could be dangerous trying to attack these guys. Uh, I mean, I could try and go over here and grab just this chest quickly. Ooh, some iron armor. Definitely want that. An iron helmet, an iron boots. I'm currently wearing these boots. I got it from killing an apotheosis boss while mining. I forgot to actually show that. And I actually got another one. But it actually provides me one extra heart. And it's got rebounding protection and all that on it. Which is really nice. Okay, zombie. You need to get out of here. Uh, I don't see any skeletons. Is there anybody up here? No. Okay, we're lucky. Usually this place might be full with skeletons. Because that's what it looks like they're coming from. It's not a crafting table, which is weird. I think there's a bit of lag there. Oh, there we go. Sweeping edge. Ah, oh, nice. A pair of pants. Oh, wait, no, we already have pants. What am I missing? Oh, a chest plate. What's this thing? Rope arrow. Oh, don't want to lose that. Uh, I don't know what a rope arrow does. Some apples. Oh, a bow. That's the only kind of tool I, or weapon. Oh, there's a chest plate. Now we've got ourselves a full set of iron armor. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to craft this, but 
I was also thinking of leveling up a villager to get some nice armor uh, later on once we get a villager going. But yeah, there's not much else in this building unless there's anything out on the, on the balcony here. No. Right, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll head towards that village there. I think we have a few minutes to spare and we'll activate the waystone there and then teleport home. At least that'll give us like three points to go from. So we'll have our home, we'll have our spawn and the village over here. And that will give us close access to the ocean, even though the ocean's right there. By the way, let's head to this village. It should be just over here. Oh, I, okay. Um, Should we do a raid? No, we do not have time for them. Oh, there's a chest there. Actually, good thing I look back then. What do you got? Obsidian! We have like three obsidian short of being able to make ourselves a portal. Oh, that's, that's good. Aha, we're at the village now pretty much because we found ourselves a beekeeper. And he sells a bee for one or six emeralds for one regular Minecraft bee. If he sold like a modded, like one of the resourceful bees, that would have been definitely worth the trade. I have seven emeralds on me. I could have easily bought it. But here's the waystone. I'm going to shift right click this. Oh, no, I need an empty hand. Uh, what should we call this one? Um, yellow village? Because it's in like a yellow biome. Velo. Okay, that's a mistake. Yellow village. Uh, village. There we go. Then we can use this to teleport home. And yeah, you can look at the, the price that it requires. One level to teleport home. Is there anything kind of interesting in this village that could be useful, apart from maybe like food? Um, You're a guard. Have you got anything in this house? A white bed? I might actually take that bed so I can dye it to the col per color purple. Uh, Yellow bed. What's in here? Okay, I'm taking this white bed. I want to change my green bed out. Very basic village. Doesn't look like there's a lot going on here. Yeah, there's only like five or so buildings. But I do see this on the map over here. It looks like there's a battle tower. Do I go and do it? I mean, there's also just spawners inside I could break. Maybe the guard here will help me. The only thing at the very top there is vexes. So if I just speed through this here. Break this spawner. This is a zombie spawner. Anything else in these guys? Oh, there's a chest. Wait, I saw a sign here. Haha, ha, funny tower. <laughs> what have we got up here? A spider spawner. No, that's a skeleton spawner. Okay. There's a skeleton here. Just take him out quickly. There's a spider up here. Is there a spider spawner? Yes, there is. Stop. Get out of here. Get away from me, spider. Now, I do remember that there should be vexes at the top of this tower, which is kind of annoying now. Do I have any building blocks? No. Uh, give me a few blocks here. Oh, yep, I can hear them now. Oh, I don't want to deal with them, but here we go. It should be relatively easy to take out. If I can hit him. Oh, there he goes. And he's down. I think there's one more off over there, but I think he might leave us alone. Right, let's put all this junk away that we don't need. We don't need the iron armor. Let's take out the, the actual ingots. I don't need a sword. Don't need any of that. Okay. Anything else useful in here? Ooh, a disc. More iron and emerald. A buried dungeon map. Ooh. Okay, we might have to go look for that. Uh, what's on the roof? A waystone and some gold blocks. There's that other vex now. Hopefully he shouldn't come near us. Uh, we already have a waystone down in the village, so I'm going to break this and take it. Oh, oh God, it fell off the tower. Oh, the Vex despawned. Oh, I shouldn't. I, I was about to break this. I cannot break. Okay, my iron pickaxe still can't break anything above stone level or iron level. So it means I'm going to have to figure out how to upgrade this tool or just stop using Tetra for the time being or maybe level it up or maybe add one of these emeralds into it. Let's actually go see. Let's go home and see by adding in a diamond into my slots or into the socket will it allow me to mine at a higher level. Okay, we're home now. Let's see. Pickaxe in. Go up to leather binding and go to socket. And let's socket a gem. Requires two levels. The socket and gem provide different effects depending on the gem. What will it mean now if I add the diamond in? Does it say... If I take the diamond out, did anything change? 
Okay, apart from up here. Pickaxe tier level two. Oh, okay. And if I add the emerald in, it doesn't change the, the durability of it at all. So that's not going to matter at all. We need to increase this level. And unfortunately, like for instance, if I wanted to add osmium, which seems to be the only other good resource that we have, say iron pickaxe, we need a tier four hammer. But even then, that doesn't even bring it up to tier three. Huh. Have I messed something up here? Like, can I actually not? By changing it to diamond, though, will bring it to a tier three. But unfortunately, we won't be able to settle it. But it means we probably could take the, the actual tool or the diamond head out later on. Um, I guess I'll just have to mess around with all the materials I have or just leave it. Or maybe even just use the diamond and just level it up and then change it back out to something else. Or wait until we get the basalt. Or not the basalt, the blackstone. We'll see. So next episode, I think what we'll do, we'll start with a bit of basic machinery... Try and set ourselves up like a redstone furnace and make ourselves an invar. Because to make invar, you need to smelt invar dust, which requires explosion crafting. So next episode, we're going to do some explosion crafting, make ourselves some invar dust, see if we can make ourselves a redstone furnace, a pulverizer, which requires this filter upgrade, which requires more canvas. So I might need to go harvest the beehives a lot more. And yeah. And then eventually we might even try and set up a building now. Our first building for doing simple, like, machinery in. Maybe we'll build a shed over here just to do some thermal series. So, I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So, without further ado, goodbye. <laughs>